All right, so let's uh, start with that um, pieces of that wristband here. So first of all, we want to take care about that larger piece that is here in the center. Um, first of all, we can delete the two um, curves that we created earlier. Just delete those. And let's go in and create a CV curve. So go here to create CV curve tool. And let's uh, go to the side view. And we want this um, coming from here, going down, try to create that shape. Okay, so let's go with this one. Hit enter. And um, yeah, let's check that out from, from the top view as well. So let's go to the top view and hit F to frame in on that. And this has obviously has to be a little bit longer. So let's select those uh, control vertices or control points, move it right into position. And now we have to shape this guy. So this is the outer part. So this is, um, yeah, I think it's going down a little bit more. Something like that. And then let's round this off. And again, this is something where you have to eyeball stuff. Would be very cool if we had yeah, some kind of reference image from the side, but we don't, so we have to live with that effect and try to round this off here. Okay. Now we have to sharpen up um, those uh, edges here. So bring those control vertices um, close together, at least uh, three of them, and you can get a sharp edge here. So let's um, first of all select all of those here and scale those flat. Just uh, scale those as long as nothing happens anymore. There are some mail scripts out there uh, that handle this um, fl flat scaling. Okay, so yeah, let's bring this closer together here so that we get a nice sharp edge. I think we can move that down a tiny bit somewhere about here. Bring this guy here. And uh, what we could do is, yeah, first of all, let's close that curve. So with that uh, object selected, you go up here to surfaces and then under edit curves, go to attach curves and uh, check out the options box. So uh, set it, um, let me reset the settings here. Yeah, so it should um, stay on blend here. And then uh, with that object or that curve selected, hit apply. Oh, is that not working? Okay. Should work. Let's say attach. Oh, my my bad. Um, that's under um, edit curves and then open close curves. My bad. So here uh, you have to uh, put it on uh, blend yeah, and then say apply. Yeah, sometimes those little things. Okay, so now let's uh, bring this guy up and let's bring uh, this guy here closer to the end so that we have a sharp edge up there as well. And we can move all those up so that it matches up with the main case here. And let's bring this guy closer to the edge and then let's bring this guy up to somewhere about here. 
I don't want that edge razor sharp, but uh, yeah, it has to be a little bit sharp. If you take a look at the images or some images on the web, you see that there is some kind of a sharp edge. Okay, let me check out this down here again. Let's move that down a little bit more. And let's also bring those control vertices a little bit more together. Something like that. And then we could take that guy, bring it here. Yeah, this is again a point where you can where you can tweak a lot. So let me check that out from the perspective view. So this is looking good so far. Let me take a closer look. Let me frame in on that. Okay. Okay, we are going with uh, this one. So with that curve selected, let's um, first of all move the pivot of that curve. So hold down D and then C and then middle mouse over over that curve so that um, the pivot comes here to the uh, last part of that curve. Okay, again, let me check that out from the side view so that it, everything is okay before we duplicate that guy. And now let me first pause the video for a second before we go on here. Okay, so see you in the next one.